Welcome to SAT School. I am your instructor from satschool.com. This is our fourth video on SAT. In this video, we will discuss on cardinal number of SAT. Let's get started. First thing first, let's have a look at the practice question that I gave you in previous video. If you have not watched that video, I strongly recommend to watch that first. Click the i button above and watch that video. And I hope you managed to solve this question. You should have shown A, B, C in a Venn diagram. If not, let's have a look. So the first thing, let's find out are there any common elements among A, B and C? There are no common elements among A, B and C. So the Venn diagram that we discussed in earlier video is something different in this case. The Venn diagram looks like look like this. Here A and B are overlapping sets. B and C are overlapping sets. Now let's find out the common elements between set A and set B. So the common elements are 4 and 5. Again let's find out the common elements between set B and set C. Here the com com common elements are 6 and 7. Now the elements left in set A are 2 and 3 and the elements left in set C are 8 and 9. So this is a simply Venn diagram for set A, B and C. If you manage this, congratulations. So before we move on to cardinal number of set, here is one more practice question. I want you to find the relation for these. So pause the video. I'll be back. I hope you managed to solve this. The first is A union B. We know the union of A and B is a set of all elements from set A and set B. Here A union B is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4 and 5 are common elements and we write them once. Next A intersection B. The intersection of two sets is a set which contains those elements which are present in both set A and set B. Simply the intersection is the set of common elements and here common elements are 4 and 5. So A intersection B is 4, 5. Now union of A, B and C is the set that contains elements from all those sets. That is set A, B and C. So A union B is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Next is universal set. The universal set contains the elements from all those sets. And if there are some extra elements, then the universal set will contain those elements as well. In this case, we have only set A, B and C. So the universal set is something like this. Next is intersection of A, B and C. So to find the intersection of A, B and C, we look at common elements among A, B and C. Since there are no common elements among A, B and C, the intersection is a null set. Now finally, A intersection C. Again here, there are no common elements between set A and set C. So A intersection C is a null set and you can represent by a special character that is pi. Now cardinal number of sets. The cardinal number of set is simply the number of elements that is contained by that set. So the number of elements in a finite set is its cardinal number and it is written as Na and read as the number of elements of the set A. Here is an example. Set A have 5 elements 2, 4, 5, 7 and 9. So the cardinal number of set A is 5 since set A has 5 elements. Similarly, B is W, X, Y, Z. Here B has 4 elements. So the cardinal number of B is 4. That is NB is 4. 
So simply the cardinal number of any set is the number of elements present in that set. We have now cardinal properties of sets. Now in case two sets are disjoint, then the cardinal number of A union B is a sum of cardinal number of A and cardinal number of B. Here NA is 25 and NB is 35. NA25 represents the number of elements in set A. So 25 is not element. This is number of element. Similarly, NB is 35. That represents number of elements in set B is 35. Now to find the cardinal number of A union B, we just have to find the sum of NA and NB. In this case, the cardinal number of A union B is 60. That is 25 plus 35. Now in case of overlapping set, the cardinal number of A union B is a sum of NA and NB minus NA intersection B. So to find the cardinal number of overlapping set, we have to subtract the intersection portion. If NA is 50 and NB is 40 as well as NA intersection B is 10, then what is the value for NA union B? And that is of course 50 plus 10 minus, I mean 50 plus 40 minus 10 which is 80. Now here the green portion is 40 and the red portion is 30 because NA is 50 and NB is 40. So NA is the green section plus red section which is 40 plus 30 and NB is 40 that is the sum of red section and blue section which is 10 plus 30. Now what is that? So we have two Venn diagram and they are parallel to each other. Here 40 is represented by N not A and 30 is represented by N not B. Now what is that? N A and N not A are two different sets. I mean two different cardinal number of. N A is the cardinal number of A and N not A is the cardinal number of only A. So the difference is N A contains the green section and red section but N not A is only A that represents only the green section. Here the red section belongs to set A as well as set B. That's why N A contains the green section and N B contains the my bad, N A contains the red section and N B contains red section. But N not A is only the green part which exclude or which does not contain red section. Simply N A is the sum of N not A and N A intersection B. To find out only A, we have to subtract N A intersection B from N A. So here are some relationships. N A is the sum of N not A and N intersection, intersection of A and B. So again, N A and N not A are different. N A is the sum of N not A and intersection. It simply contains the overlapping part in A. But N not A is only A which does not contain the intersection part. So you can find out N A and N not A using these relationships. Here is a practice question. So N A is 45, N B is 65 and N A union B is 85. Now the question is to find the value of N A intersection B and N not B that is only B. I hope you can find 
these solutions that we discussed earlier thanks for watching video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and of course do like and share the video i'll meet you in next video take care